In today's video, I'm gonna be going over seven legit data entry related work from home jobs. And the great thing about data entry jobs is they're incredibly easy to land and they're very easy to do. They don't really require a college degree or previous experience or anything like that. So if you're somebody who wants to get your very first work from home job or you know start working remote, data entry can be a really good way to get your foot in the door. And not only am I gonna go over what the jobs are, but I'm also gonna talk about what you would be doing, the pros, the cons, the skills that you need to have, and the skills that you would develop in the job. Plus, I'm going to be rating each one on a scale from one to 10. So if you appreciate all of this hard work that I put into these videos, go ahead and gently tap that like button and let's jump into it right now. All right. So the first job on the list is going to be an AI writing evaluator. And this is somebody who ensures the quality and accuracy of AI generated text. And considering over 75% of top executives think that AI is going to be a key part of their strategy going forward, you can see why these types of jobs are very popular and there's a lot of them available. Now, with that being said, this is a lower paying job as are many of these data entry jobs. But the truth is you can get a data entry work from home job and it's a great way to get your foot in the door for remote work or something really smart that you could do is actually just move to a different place or a different country that has a lower cost of living. And this is what a lot of really smart people are doing right now because there's some countries out there where you can live like a king on a thousand dollars a month. So yeah, this one pays about $15 an hour. So it's not the best pay. But with that being said, the fact that you're getting some AI related experience can open up much, much better job opportunities down the line. Now, a good way to get started with this is to just experiment with different AI related writing tools, things like Jasper.ai or even just ChatGPT. Then you want to build yourself a portfolio of works that you've done with AI, and it shouldn't be very difficult for you to get a job at all. Now, some of the pros of this one are it does have flexible working hours in many cases. You have an opportunity to be at the forefront of one of the most exciting industries, and there's opportunities for advancement down the line. Some of the cons of this one are it does require high attention to detail and critical thinking. You do need to stay up to date on a continuously evolving field of AI, and it can be somewhat tedious. But overall, because of the fact that you have a lot of opportunities down the line, when it comes to data entry jobs, this is one of the best ones you can get. I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. And speaking of using AI to create content, I actually train people exactly how they can do that. We utilize AI in just about every social media platform, including YouTube, to make the content better and faster. And I'm going to be doing training on exactly exactly how I've grown this YouTube channel to multiple six figures a month. And that training is going to be Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, but go ahead and check the link in the description in the pinned comment below because sometimes we might change the time. And if you're watching this in the future, check that link as well because we'll likely be having another live training at some point in the future. Next is going to be a deals content editor. And imagine being the mastermind behind some of the most exciting shopping deals online. Because in this position, you would be editing and publishing online deals that go live on social media or even ads, and you're gonna be promoting e-commerce products. So you typically would be hired by either an e-commerce company or a deal aggregator website. And 93% of shoppers use coupon codes or some type of discount throughout the year. So this is a pretty good job to get into. Now, content editors make about 44 to $79,000 a year. So this is actually pretty good considering it is a relatively easy job to get. Now, that being said, this one's a little harder to get than some of the other ones on the list, but a way to get started would be to take online courses on platforms like Udemy, Skillshare, Coursera, or even study up on something like Khan Academy. And then you can create sample deals and put them in your portfolio. And you can network with professionals on LinkedIn, for instance. And then you could apply for either remote junior level positions or freelance opportunities and build your portfolio up even more. Now, some of the pros of this one are it can be somewhat creative. It is vital for e-commerce operations and there's opportunities for career growth in digital marketing. Some of the cons are it is a fast paced environment where things are constantly changing and you do have to balance speed and accuracy. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 five out of 10. Speaking of digital marketing, if you want to get into your first entry level digital marketing job, just like a bunch of people that I've interviewed on this channel, there's actually a free training offered by the company Digital Career Blueprint, which all the people I interviewed on this channel went through. And you can check out that free training by clicking the link down in the description in the pinned comment below. It'll go over digital marketing, all the different types of jobs, whether or not it's a good fit for you and exactly how you can get into it. So yeah, that's another really good resource that I offer you guys. So definitely check it out. Click the link in the description in the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a VT captioner or transcriber. And in this position, you'd basically be transcribing either audio or video related content, and you transcribe it into the written word. And you can actually work with some of the biggest brands out there through the platform VTAC. And they have pretty good ratings on Glassdoor, and it also shows that they make about 33 to $59,000 a year. Now, some of the content you might be transcribing would be YouTube videos. And I do coach a few people one-on-one -on -one every month on how to grow and make money on YouTube, just like I did with this channel. So if you wanna apply for that, I'll put the link down in the description in the pinned comment below. 
but some of the pros of this one are there's lots of flexible work and you contribute to making content more accessible to a wider audience. Some of the cons of this one are it does require speed and attention to detail and there's potential for irregular hours. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next is a healthcare documentation specialist. Now this is one of the many random niche healthcare careers. There's literally thousands of them out there that are actually pretty good and they're relatively easy to get into as well. Now these tend to be especially good in the United States. And basically what you do in this position is you transcribe, edit, and ensure the accuracy of medical records for healthcare providers, which aids in patient care. And in this position, you make about 62 to $102,000 a year. So it's actually extremely lucrative. Now this one's a bit harder to get into. So some of the skills you're gonna need for this are proficiency in medical terminology, anatomy, and physiology. You don't have to be an expert on anatomy and physiology, but you do wanna have the basics down. You also need excellent typing and editing skills, and you need a strong attention to detail. Now some action steps you could take here to get started with this would be first of all, improve your typing speed. And you can do this with online tutorials on platforms like Typing Club or Skillshare. You can also learn medical terminology and healthcare documentation practices through free online resources such as Khan Academy or Coursera. You can also consider certifications hmm. like the Certified Medical Administrative Assistant or CMAA to enhance credentials. Then you can network on LinkedIn. You might even consider other positions such as medical secretary in order to get some experience. Then you just focus on self-study and practical experiences. You might even volunteer. And once you're hired, many companies will actually train you in the skills that you need to have. So some of the pros of this one are you get to contribute significantly to patient care and medical accuracy. You do have opportunities to work remotely and there is steady demand in the healthcare industry. Some of the cons of this one are it does require some knowledge of medical terminology. You do need high attention to detail and accuracy and it can be a repetitive and demanding workload. But overall, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna give it an opportunity score of eight out of 10. All right, next is gonna be the random one. I like to put at least one random one on all of these videos. This isn't necessarily data entry, but if for those types of people who you know like comedy, for instance, and they like writing, this could be good. So I'm gonna talk about a comedy writer. And this is somebody who basically creates humorous scripts, jokes, and sketches for various different types of media. And comedy writers make about 70 to $123,000 a year. Now this one definitely is harder to get into. It's not a super basic data entry job, but I like to put one of these in every video, just kind of a random fun one, just to show you that not all jobs out there are boring. So yeah, this one, I'll go ahead and give a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a business transcriber. And this is somebody who converts business related audio or video into the written word. And transcriptionists make about 46 to 76 thousand dollars a year. So this is a demanding job. It requires fast typing speed. It also requires really good attention to detail. And you're going to need familiarity with business terminology. But some of the pros of this one is it does have flexibility and the ability to work from anywhere. And you have an opportunity to work in various different industries. Some of the cons are it does require high attention to detail, speed and accuracy, and it can be somewhat repetitive. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. By the way, comment down below any of the jobs that you liked, any ones that you didn't like, or ones that I should have mentioned, but I didn't. There's a good chance they'll make it into the next video. Next is going to be a digital court reporter. And this is somebody who basically creates accurate transcripts of court proceedings. And typically you'll be employed by courts or law firms. And court reporters make about 54 to $90,000 a year. So some of the skills you need here are of course, proficiency in typing speed, also proficiency in stenography or voice writing, and strong attention to detail and listening skills. Now how to get started here is you can enroll in an online course in AAERT, you can also get the RPR certification from the NCRA. Then you can look for remote internships for courts and you can stay current by participating in online webinars and staying up to date on the latest technology and improvements. Some of the pros of this one are you play a critical role in the legal process. It can be really good experience if you wanna work in the law industry and you have an option to work on a freelance basis. Some of the cons are you may need training first before you can land a job. Sometimes that will be provided by the company. Sometimes you need to get it on your own. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. And by the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I had a video that went viral. People absolutely loved it. And it was 11 work from home jobs that are worldwide that people are constantly hiring for. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.